Alrighty guys, I'm the devil and welcome, welcome back to Endless Survival, episode number two. In the first episode, we built this little starter house and it's not 100% completed guys, because we've only got windows in on this side, we haven't done any this side and I'm not sure where I want to space in this side and we was running low on resources in the last episode. I gained a little bit between episodes, but not much so, because this episode guys, I want to go cave in. I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk about this series, where it's heading, what it's doing, my plans for this YouTube channel. I want to talk about this random apple here because this is one hell of a nice lovely apple. Look at it. It's tasty and gorgeous and oh, it's beautiful. It's not that beautiful of an apple, is it? So, I want this series to last the length of my channel. And if you've been around my channel since the beginning or even for a while, which I highly doubt because <laughs> there's not that many people around. But you'll notice that I've done this a couple of times in the past. And I always end up... I don't know how to... Um, too preoccupied by other things in life. And I just want to grab some coal. To actually focus truly on the series. But right now, I am deciding that I need to work more. I need to put more effort into some of the things that I want, like, I really do want to build a community here on YouTube. I could care less about the money, more about the community. You know, I, I, would, I would make a video that would have people discussing their builds in Minecraft, then a video that would make me a bunch of money. Because that's just the way that I am, that's the kind of thing that I want. And obviously if I want that community, I gotta work for it. So I want to put more effort into my YouTube and I think that a fresh start on YouTube is just what I need. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to put more effort into the YouTube channel. There's going to be two videos daily on this channel. That's my goal. There may be the odd day here and there when I'm not very well and I just don't upload. But I will try to at least get one video out a day if I'm incapable of doing two. So I think we'll just pillow up here. I want to grab some blocks, so let's just... I've only got cobble. So, oh, nope. This is the only problem when you pillow up when you've got something in your offhand. So I'm going to be putting a lot more effort and learning a lot more. So if you guys have any constructive criticism, feel free to, to use the comment section and tell me that. Don't be afraid that you may offend me. I can assure you I am very hardly offended. It takes a lot to offend me. I usually just take everything with a pinch of salt, or a grain of salt, whatever the saying is. Okay, so this cave is practically meh. But that's okay. So there is a couple more caves around here. Um, can we, this is not a cave, no. So, don't be afraid of offending me in the comment section. Or, oh, I'm usually very laid back. Now, this world I want to be around for the duration of this channel. And I want to break it down into seasons. So like this is season 1. And we're playing in 1.12. Um, we will probably update 1.13 in this series, I would imagine. But I don't see us going past 1.13 in this series. Just because it's a founding village. There's going to be about 50 episodes. I want to make each season around 50 episodes, or at least 50 episodes, just depending. And the reason that is, I don't want to say 50 episodes, because then if we're doing a bigger kingdom or an empire or castle or whatever build we may be doing, I don't want to rush it and it have to be done in just 50 episodes. I want... Oh, I've got a little more cold. I want the ability to be able to take my time for a season if we have a slow season, something that's going to take us a while to build. So I'm just saying as a off the top of my head goal that I want, that I want 50 episodes. And we'll do that. And admittingly, this dynamic light does make it a little bit difficult to know when to place a torch down and when not to. There's not a real good cave system around here, and I brought some wood with us, but 
Not that much. And... Yeah, this, this goes to an end. Now, having said that, there may be a season that is shorter if we do just a small settlement. Maybe there's something I want to do in vanilla and then we do it. Now I don't want to do this video, this series, um, daily for the entirety of my channel. I think that would get very boring, very mundane. I'm definitely doing it daily at the minute because, well, it's a series that I want to work on. Or creeper. Better be careful, there is a skeleton around here. Okay, that, that worked out pretty well. But there are going to be times when I don't want to do it daily, when I, I want to do something different in, in vanilla. And, you know, I do plan to, to break my channel down into two series, a vanilla and a modded series. Now, for a lot of people, they think vanilla is just basic vanilla. Vanilla for me is going to be a... Um, oh. That's not my that's not my food. Vanilla for me is going to be stuff that takes place within the core game of Minecraft or enhances the core game of Minecraft. So vanilla plus mod packs I would probably class as a vanilla series because it's very it's a lot different to the modded series that we may do. So vanilla plus series is, and vanilla series is something that Oh, ink sacks. Don't mind if I do. Definitely something that would class as a vanilla series to me. Even though they're not strictly... Oh, we got some resources randomly down here. And we have run out, so... Let's just quickly make some more. Make another stack of torches. And pop them in there. So I'm not going to spend ages grabbing coal while we're down here, guys. I just want to look for, for interesting things. I want to get some iron, I want to get some redstone. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Maybe a diamond or two. Because the next episode I want to set up an AFK fish farm. Because that's how I plan to get my diamond gear and my enchanted gear. Or at least the enchanted parts of the diamond gear. Through the enchanted books from fishing. So I just don't like the grind to, to grind the cows out, the sugar cane out for the, the enchanting setup and all of that. This is quite an interesting cave. Unfortunately, it came to an end. So there's going to be one vanilla, one modded series on the channel today. And that's pretty much going to be it. On this channel. I do have a second channel where I do play all of the games that are not Minecraft. And the rules for the games over there are, if I want to play it, I'm going to play it. <laughs> and right now I'm playing through Resident Evil 5, again. I was going for a Batwing, but I just realized it's not, it's not modded. I ain't gonna get a bat wing. There's a lot of, a lot of bats. But no, um, now the modded series I haven't decided on. I do want to do FTB Beyond, but it's an older mod pack now. It's not new, so I feel like the viewership isn't going to be there. I feel like the potential growth of the channel isn't going to be there. So I'm not 100% certain if I'm going to do that yet. You know, I do want to grow the channel and. Unfortunately for me, that means I'm playing mod packs that are going to be interesting. You know, we, we grew quite well when we did um, Sky Factory um, a couple of years ago. We actually gained like 20 subscribers from that, which for a channel that had less than 100 at the time, that's brilliant. That really is. Skeleton. Now, I'm not going to be progressing super fast through the tech tree of this. We're not going to do this episode where we get the fish farm and then rush to the end. You know, I am going to go to the end, and I am going to go, hopefully, soon, but I'm not going to rush it. I'm not going to say, okay, we can go now. I'm going to probably wait till we have successfully moved on into the nether and sort of progressed a ways through it. Another spider, another mob. But I do really want to get my hands on some redstone. Is that that's all? So we'll go from where this where this um, spider came from. And I'm not gonna rush to get a beacon mine or anything like that. My rush is on for diamond tools because I just 
I don't like being in the Iron Age or the Stone Age. I find it very frustrating, very boring. I feel like I waste more time because I'm spending more time mining blocks than I am actually building. And there's the argument, going creative. But I don't want to go creative. You know, maybe I'll do a creative series. Maybe I won't. But for now, I'm happy doing survival. Survival's me. I enjoy the grind of grinding resources, but just not the grind of doing it with iron tools, you know? I like going lumberjacking and mining and all of that good stuff that you do. But I just like to do it with diamond tools, so I do want to get to diamond tools and enchanted gear soon. Now, between episodes, I did make a suit of iron armor. Just in case you're wondering why I'm coming down into the mines with no armor, I actually did make up some iron armor. We got the iron in the first episode. Now, there is something that I do want to start doing on my videos, and the idea hit me as I was sat watching one of my favorite YouTubers' videos. And that's a sign. I'm going to take a sign, and I'm going to stick a sign on every build that we do. And that sign is going to state the episode and the date that that build was done in. Now, the date will be a rough estimate. Um, it'll be 99% accurate. But because I record in advance, you know, it's not full time, I'm not recording this the day before it goes out. I'm recording this like three days before it's scheduled to go out. So the date is going to be going to be the 31st of October. And the date today is the 29th of October. So, I recorded that episode about an hour ago. I took a bit of a break, I had a bit of a snack, caught up with the wife, um, and then jumped back on to record. But, the idea is that people who join the series partway through will be able to say, Oh, I like that house. I wonder when he built that. And rather than having to go and search through my channel, which I know might increase viewership for me because I'd probably wrong click some videos, etc. I'm not a bad of views. <laughs> it, it, it matters little to me when it comes to stuff like that. That feels like cheating views. Like, I will do a series that's popular for views. If I'm going to enjoy it, of course. But I'm not going to use um, clickbait and stuff like that to get views. I just, I don't like it. I think it's just not me. That was a bit of a drop. Oh, oh, zombie, leave me alone. So obviously, this way, they'll be able to see it and, and be able to go back in there and do it. And, you know, you may have to pause the video to see the signs. I'm gonna try and put it on like the bottom corner of each build in a similar place so they'll always know. And I do plan to do world downloads. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do them yet. Because there are websites out there that allow you to download stuff and then for every download you get I get a little bit of money um, and then there's other ones where I pay and you guys get ad free downloads and all that kind of stuff and I'm I don't want to do the the whole um, the whole websites out there that you guys get charged for downloading and that's something that I'm definitely not going to do I know that because I don't want that um, but I just have to, to do what's best for me at the minute and you know, that'll be providing download links through um, websites that are both safe and secure. But obviously, there may be little extra things in involved, like, yeah, it may have to view an ad or something, because I don't know if I can do it ad-free and not pay for it. Um, and I just can't afford a, an ad-free service if I have to pay for it. I just cannot afford that. So... It may just come down to stuff like that. But I will make sure that all my links are safe and secure. Because I don't want you guys getting viruses from downloading my stuff. I want to... Plus that's a bad way to gain reputation on YouTube, you know. So let's just get rid of that creeper. We are not finding a way down. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to catch you back because I got a little mine going here. This is what I, where I got my cobblestone from. And you fall down here, go through the water, and think this basic design I nicked from Wells Knight. Him, he always does this for a mine. and It's just so simple and quick and easy. And 
I'm sure he got it from somebody else. This is such a simple design. But I just decided to nap it and use it. Rather than building a staircase down like I used to. So we've got this sort of ravine here. And I'm sure that we can probably find a cave of sorts in here. Where we can grab some redstone and do a little bit of better caving than what we're doing in a minute. So let me just quickly light this obsidian up. I thought that was a cave there, but it's not. It's just a dark piece. Yeah, there's a little cave over this side, look. So that makes it a little bit easier. I my ear keeps getting in my eyes. Okay, so we haven't found diamonds yet, but we have found emeralds. And before I mine this, I just want to... Oh, we're out again. So, grab this. There we go. Torches, torches, and all the torches. Alright. That was very anticlimactic. But yeah. So that's my plans for this series is to build the settlement and then we will end the sea the season. But we won't end the world. The world will carry over to season two. And season two we will focus on a new settlement. But I'll probably take a break between seasons. Because there is only so much that you can do in vanilla before it gets very repetitive and boring. And it's very, very easy to get burnt out on a vanilla series because obviously there's only so much you can do which is one of the primary reasons I have decided to limit what I'm going to use to build with okay, so I definitely want to sort of yeah do that oh lapis you need this for enchanting so eventually we will have an enchanting setup but I'm not going to rush for it, I'd rather do the AFK fish farm. We need mending. And the books that you get from it are just so good. You know, and I leave my PC on usually through the night, so I can just leave it AFK for... Oh. Where are they? Black Spike in vanilla? That's a first. I'm not going to risk that. I'm not going to risk that piece of iron there. He says as he blocks it off and risks it anyway. And there's actually a little bit more here than, than I thought, so. We will grab it. We will grab it. We're down one pick. That's not a problem. But yeah, guys, if you're enjoying this series, be sure to let me know. And if you notice similarities between my series and, and anybody else's, I can assure you I have not intentionally copied anybody, with the exception of that mine shaft over there. I have stole that idea, um, but it's just a little mind drop and it's something significant and I don't think he will mind. But there seems to be another emerald. There's two emeralds and no diamonds. No diamonds, no redstone. Um, I'm not going to go all the way up there for iron. That just seems a little bit unnecessary. But is this like it? What about back there? Is that another emerald? It's another emerald. I mean, I'm certainly going to grab the emerald ore. Oh, redstone. So unfortunately, no diamonds. And this hasn't been the the caving expedition that I would have liked. But I do think that we got the stuff. Oh, hello. Let's just be a little bit more careful there. We'll, we'll mine holding shift. Okay, cool. We would have got some flux dust there if we were in FTB Beyond. Okay, so I don't think this actually goes anywhere. We don't have a diamond pick to... Oh, oh, oh. That, that's gold. I thought it was diamond at first. If we hold shift, we should be able to grab it before it goes in the lava. Honestly, I'm not too fussed if we lose a little bit of gold. It's not that precious, you know. I mean, yeah, we need it for golden carrots. We need it for golden apples. Where did you come from, buddy? But beyond that, I can't see a reason, a use for gold. 
We're really can't. There's definitely some zombies coming from somewhere up there, isn't there? Is that a cave up there? That they are dropping down from? I think it might be. Yes! Although I don't see this doing much good for us. I really, really don't. I think it's just going to be a basic cave. But a little bit more just to clarify that Season 2 will be in the same world with all the builds from Season 1. But it'll be a fresh... I don't want to say a fresh start because... The... Deciding on what we do, like... This village is the town. We set sail for the new world. We'll build a ship and we will set sail for the new world. And then we may put some things on that ship, like... Some pickaxes, some tools... Um... And that'll end the season there. We'll build the ship, save the new world. I don't think it'll be a ship, I think it'll be a caravan if we do that. And the, 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 the villagers from Foundersville, up there, went ahead and branched out to the new world. But maybe we'll decide to do a completely new civilization, a completely new empire for the world. In which case, they wouldn't have the stuff that we have had here. So we'll, we'll keep the tools and stuff around the law of the world. Because the law that we've got so far is some people found this world, this realm, and I am getting really bad frame rate. Like, super bad all of a sudden. There we go. That's still pretty bad. I don't know why I'm getting so bad frame rate. I'm not even maxing out. What? I don't know. What's, what does that say? It says 120. But we got a reasonable amount of resources. I'm kind of happy. I think I'm going to smelt some of this up and get ready for the next episode because in the next episode, guys, I want to build an AFK fish farm. Um, I think that I've got almost everything that I would need. I do want a chest for precious metals and precious resources. But I think that we've got everything that we need. I think that I'm going to smelt up a little bit of stone, I think. Stones in this chest, isn't it? Um, I think 16 will do because I'm sure repeaters are. I'm sure repeaters are smooth stone or just your standard stone. But, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. So, if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving it a like and click subscribe if you want to see more. I'm the devil. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye!